Hey nerdlings, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and the real question is, do you nerd for Tom and Lacey? We got a package. We know what's in here. So let's get in there. Yeah, let's rip it open. Okay, gamers, it's Peter, the Steve, and we're stealing it, so that's super funny. Yay, Floyd! Oh, Floyd got smushed. Oh, no. Got smushed <laughs> As the shirts and the box suggest, this is VGM. What is VGM? Let's go down the list. You make a list. Of the games you have. You check it twice. You find out who's naughty and nice. VGM checks that list. They take those games. They put them in a box. They put that box in the mail. And the mailman brings it right to you. And then you send those games back, right? No! You get to keep them! Exactly. They're all yours! Exactly. There are different tiers. You get to pick exactly how many games you want them to send to you. If you want just a couple. If you want a lot more. Not only that, but sometimes you get... A one-up, a two-up, a three-up, a gazillion-up. <laughs> We're still waiting for that gazillion-up, though. All the ups. All the ups. All right, well, something that Lady Lacey likes to do is hand these off to me blind, so I will not look as she opens the box and starts handing me stuff. Stuff like the little card that says, hey, take a picture, share it on our social media, and maybe you'll win some free games. This is the card that tells you, hey, update that list. We don't want to send you duplicates. And you ready for our up? Oh, we got a one up. Nice. Uh, you know, back in the day, gamer Tony, this was supposed to be his, but they went ahead and sent it to us. So thanks, guys. <laughs> and we got a sticker. Oh, cute. I love turning yeah. stickers into magnets. I really love doing that. So we got a little Floyd sticker. He's so cute. He's a pretty great looking mascot, guys. On to the game. We got an original that just came out recently. This is the first one. Hmm. Everybody's asking us if we're playing it. So Mortal Kombat? Yep. Oh, nice. And this is the original. So Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. And I am looking over at the Super Nintendo games. We have a lot of Mortal Kombat games. I don't think we have this one. I think we have two on Super Nintendo. But... Uh, if you guys remember, unfortunately, this was the one. No blood. So all those... Not even with, like, a code? No, not on Super Nintendo. You had to wait to get on Sega? So all the fatalities look so weird because they, like, they just punch their arm into your body, but you, like, shake and fall over. It's like, uh, That's okay. Too funny. <laughs> the next game we got looks way better than a trailer that just came out. Oh my god, a Sonic game? Yep. <laughs> oh, not on the system, I would have thought. <laughs> but then again, a couple of years ago, who would have thought to have seen any uh, Sonic games on a Nintendo system, right? <laughs> so we have Sonic Heroes, and looking at the back, I remember reading about this. I never got to play this one. Um, I didn't play a whole lot of GameCube games, actually. I was you know, kind of playing on the PS2 a lot. But uh, this is the weird one where you have, like, teams. And so there's, like, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles on a team. I think it's Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. But anyway, then you have uh, these other teams with all these other characters that they're from the Sonic world, but like, most people have never heard of them before. I mean, unless you're a diehard Sonic fan, you probably recognize them. But uh, I think the one that always weirded me out the most was Cream the Rabbit. Who names the rabbit Cream? That's not a good name. I'm guessing that you have, that each character has different abilities to help you get through the stages. So it's kind of a neat idea. Um, Maybe take like the idea behind Mario Kart Double Dash and put it in a platformer setting. And oh, so by the way, no booklet, and this is a, uh, a generic case because that little GameCube disc is right there in a big spindle. But still, it looks like a nice front label. Oh, it's very nice yeah. on that bottom. Looks good. Crisp and clean. No caffeine. <laughs> Crisp and clean and no caffeine. Boom. 
and a Japanese in 64 game. So we have Bomberman. Boom! Which is nice because that means that, of course, we will not need to know Japanese, hopefully, uh, just to play this game. Because <laughs> Bomberman, as long as they didn't change Bomberman, uh, this should be just fine to play. And on the 64, this could be one of those great party games. I mean, the 64 was all about multiplayer with the four ports, so. Here's the next game. Well, we have a Super Famicom game. This is, as you can see, this is, uh... <laughs> Here, would you like to read their note? No, I'm going off just the label. <laughs> This is a classic Japanese tale of foggy mornings in your house by the tree that you grew up with. With blood all over the place. Because some of those memories are dark. <laughs> From 94. So, and clearly that's exactly what this game must be about because the label wouldn't make you think anything else. <laughs> but thankfully else. they did not translate it, but they did give us the title. Uh, so... Kamaitachi no Yoru. Yoru. Kamaitachi no Yoru. Which translates into. We don't speak Japanese. Misty morning tree and house. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Future Tom's going to help me out and drop some information about what this game is so you guys know what to expect as we do not know what to expect. Well, and luckily, there was uh, bubble wrap in here, so even though our box got smooshed, the bubble wrap saved The bubble it. wrap saved everything. Would you like to pop some bubbles I in would. honor of a fellow YouTuber? Just, you know, ladylike. Oh, just a couple? Ladylike bubbles. <laughs> but then you've got to really get in the... You want to crack your knuckles? I don't know what that one was. <laughs> well, as as you Cracked may have noticed, world. this was a uh, another showing some Nintendo love. Yes, so we very got much uh, so. you know Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, N sixty four, and GameCube. So lots of Nintendo goodies. I love that they call it an N sixty four cassette. Oh, that's great. Yeah, be it's kind of rewind. Got to fast forward to the part of the game you want to play. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> these are great games. They look to be in fantastic shape. All of them. All the labels are nice and clean. Uh, the only one that's kind of weird is you know the the, the yellowing the on the cartridges. That's pretty common for that. Yeah, it happens all the time with those. But uh, this was very nice. Yes. So I'm lovely. glad to have some Nintendo love to dive into. And I would love to hear any comments you guys have about any of these games. If you played this uh, weird, you know. Sonic uh, Menage a Trois. I don't know what's going on with Sega. Uh, share those Mortal Kombat <laughs> memories, some Bomberman memories, and tell us about your memories of Misty Mornings next to your tree. With blood with riding everywhere. Blood riding <laughs> everywhere that you woke up to. <laughs> Hit the like button if you happen to like. Uh, subscribe. Notification bell lets you know whenever we have new videos coming up, whatever those videos may be. And just in case YouTube doesn't let you know that a video has dropped, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those close up pictures to know that a video has dropped. And just to know what we're doing out and about in the real world because we got a bunch of stuff coming up, guys. So also, don't forget to go over to TeePublic because we got merch over there and we want to see you in that merch. If we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. Woo! Oh, and once again, Tony. Thanks for the free game. Thanks for the free parking. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. And sometimes you get what? One up, two up, bazillion up, quadrillion up, end game earnings up. End game earnings up? Because they're like in the billions. <laughs> They've knocked Titanic out of the second slot. They're trying to get Avenger or. Shoot. Where are you going?
<laughs> Avatar. Not Avengers. Avatar. So. They're trying to knock Avatar out of the top spot for most earnings in a movie. So, we want as many <laughs> one-ups as Endgame is earning. <laughs> this is not going well. This is not. I'm, I'm going to cut so much of this. <laughs> cut it out. Yeah. <laughs>